Well, uh, the word sustenance you used, I think it's interesting. Um, we, we hear a lot these days about um, the pursuit of sustainability, um, economic, ecological, uh, and so on sustainability. So here we might want to speak about um, spiritual sustainability. Yes. And, um, and of course, we understand the beginning of the whole process of bhakti is hearing. And this hearing is our nourishment. Uh, it's, it's how it's how we how our spiritual body is nourished. And I think it's also relevant to think about the classical system uh, from the Upanishads, from Vedanta, of a three-step process. There's hearing, shravanam, then what's called mananam, uh, which you could say means thinking or reflecting on. And then third is nididhyasanam, uh, which I like to say is like digesting. Um, we, we, so we just like food, like prasadam, we take in and we receive it in the body. And then there's a process by which that becomes imbibed into the body. So, of course, we say uh, this process of imbibing what we hear is, that's what uh, seva is. And we have experienced that as we do seva, that inspires us to hear more. And, and so it's a cycle. It's, it, uh, it's a perpetuation of sustenance. So we might we might want to reflect on that idea of sustenance and sustainability. Uh, what um, what is it about the books of our founder Acharya uh, that sustains our movement, our mission? <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, 